Hello, my name's Ian Dodson, and today we're gonna to talk about everybody's favorite holiday meal, Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, let's talk turkey. Makes no difference whether you've roasted it, grilled it, smoked it, you still have to carve it. And I'm gonna show you three ways to do that. The first way I'm gonna show you is the most traditional way. The turkey's cooked, it comes out on the platter, it sits at the head of the table. Mum and dad are getting ready to carve it. Basically, all you're gonna do is cut the meat down between the legs on either side. This will free up a little more cutting room in order for you to cut down on the breast. Then all we're basically gonna do from there is start taking nice slices down across, side to side. This is, like I say, the traditional method. The one thing I don't like about this method is that it takes a very long time to cut this whole turkey up, by which time most of the side items are cold, the turkey's getting cold, everyone's kind of getting bored looking at you. Now we've removed all the meat from both sides of the breast, we're gonna cut the legs. You just place your knife in between the joint, they will separate. We're gonna take the leg meat, basically trim off where we can. Around the drumstick. And there is our first traditional way of carving the turkey. Okay, let's move on to one of my favorites, option two. First thing I usually do, remove the legs. Same as before, just cut down between the joint. Releasing the leg meat, and we'll cut down the second leg. Then what I like to do, cut down straight down the middle of the turkey. If you push your knife in, the actual turkey will start to separate from the carcass. Cut down the wishbone. Follow down, keep cutting. The breast will separate away from the bone. When you get down to the bottom, just gently turn the knife and that will separate the meat from the wing. Now, let's slice the breasts and the legs. What I like to do is start at the small end. Basically, we're gonna cut about quarter inch slices, straight down motion. Take that meat, place it onto your platter. I think this way is just a bit of a different way of cutting it. It's a little thicker, which I think gives it a more substance. Once you've actually cut all this up, place some foil over it. You can place this back in the oven for up to an hour, basically. Separate the drumstick from the thigh. Take the drumstick as we did before. And we're just gonna cut straight down. The bone in the thigh will actually pull out itself. And what I like to do with this meat, is just cut down in about two inch increments. Then we're gonna repeat the process on the next leg. And the same thing, what we'll do, we'll take this, wrap it in some foil, place it back in the oven on warm. Whenever you're ready to serve, it's ready to go. Okay, let's move on to option three. This is my personal favorite. This is how I'll be doing my turkey this year. Uh, there is a little bit of prep involved, but it's very, very simple. Um, it looks professional as well, so if you wanna impress your friends and family for Thanksgiving, try this way, just give it a go. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the legs. Basically, just cut down between the skin. Let the knife do the work. Repeat this on both sides. Now, what we're gonna do, turn the turkey over, break the bone right there, and take your knife, just follow the bone. When you get to the joint, basically pull back, follow along the carcass itself. Repeat this process on the other side. We have our two legs. Then we, what we have left is our crown. Now I'm gonna turn this around and basically separate the front of the turkey from the back. It will gently snap. Take your knife, just put it in between the bone. Cut down. We have our turkey crown, we have our two legs. 
and the belly of the turkey. Okay, we're gonna take the two legs and we're gonna remove the bone. Sounds very complicated, but it's not that complicated at all. It's very easy. Start by turning the leg over, facing the flesh side up. Just take a small knife, and basically all you wanna do is just gently score down towards the bone. Now, you're not gonna get all of the meat off of this, but as much as you can will obviously help in the end. When you get to this stage, just put your knife under the bone and just gently cut away. Once we get further up to where the joint is, just gently pull the skin back and do the same process. Just gently score with your knife. The great part about this is because we're actually gonna stuff this and roll it, the cut marks that you're putting in there right now, you're not gonna see anyway. Once you get around the joint, it gets a little easier, same thing. Once you get to this part, you can actually take the bone itself and just score down. Just moving the turkey leg around. Lay it flat down again. And we're actually gonna cut through this part of the skin because what we're gonna do once we get to the next stage is actually lay this out flat. Got to that stage, pick it back up, start scoring. Once we get all the way down to there, then we're just gonna cut straight across. And we're gonna lay this out flat. And we're gonna repeat the process on the second leg. Okay, once we've removed both of the bones from both of the legs, next part, I just kind of gently feel across to make sure there's no pieces of cartilage or tendon. If there are, remove those. Then we're gonna transfer each piece to a piece of saran wrap. Just gently push this out. Then you take your favorite stuffing. What I'm gonna do is place a couple of spoons of each one down the center of the deboned out turkey leg. Like I said, this can be any stuffing that you like. Your favorite one, chestnut, sage and onion. Place a good amount in there. Gently, just fold this over. Pull it down to the bottom. We're gonna place our saran wrap over the top. Gently, but firmly, push this together. And basically, we're making a little turkey leg sausage. Cure the ends and roll tightly. We're gonna take this, put it in the refrigerator for about an hour to let it firm up and then we're gonna roast it. After it's firmed up for about an hour in the refrigerator, what I'm gonna do next is remove the saran wrap. Basically keeping it in the refrigerator, like I say, will keep its shape, but obviously we don't wanna cook it in the, in the saran wrap. Place it onto some foil. We're gonna roll it just as we did before in the saran wrap or in the foil. Crimp the ends, fold those in. We're gonna place them in our pan with our turkey. We're gonna take our turkey, lightly oil it, season it, and then go ahead and roast it in the oven. Now we've roasted our turkey crown and our stuffed legs. Another great reason I love this is because when I make this at home, I actually roast the stuffed legs the day before. That way it allows them to relax and it gives you a little bit more time during Thanksgiving day. Once we have the crown cooked, we are gonna use the same as we did in option two where we removed both of the breasts and then sliced them on our diagonal. What I like to do with the legs is, like I said, it's pre-cooked, take it, put it in a saucepan, reheat it, brush it with some butter. When you get to this stage, what I like to do there is then just gently slice this into about half inch slices. From there, place them on a platter. Once you've sliced the legs, what I like to do then is you can either serve them on a platter and let your guests help themselves, or we can take a slice of the stuffed leg meat, a couple of slices of our turkey breast. Wow, doesn't that look great? Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.